Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Today we're going to learn how to make a Crisco candle. And this is a 36 hour burning candle, which is quite awesome for its size. And um, you know, a great thing about this is you can use things from around the house that you may already have. That's the name of the game with survival and preparedness, using what you've got and thinking outside the box. So a lot of people have Crisco in their, in their cabinet, in their pantry. A lot of people may have jars of baby food. And most of us probably recycle them or throw them away, but I've always kept them. You throw it in the dishwasher, take the label off, you keep it, rinse it out. I use it for storing seeds and other stuff like that, but these candles are perfect for, for this. Uh, we also need a roll of jute twine, which is very cheap at the hardware store. A lot of us have this for doing things outside anyway. And a washer and electrical tape. And uh, this makes a wonderful, wonderful candle for an emergency. And it'll be perfect for your blackout kits as well. This is just a four ounce jar of baby food. The type does not matter. The brand does not matter. And I've already got one over here that I've rinsed out. It's like cooking show magic, voila. It's rinsed out and cleaned for you. And I've already got a piece of jute twine cut for this. And we don't need that yet. So here's the Crisco. It doesn't have to be Crisco, but I like how thick the Crisco is, so it helps to kind of hold things together. So what you do is, to start, I mean, I have these pre-bought wicks. You can buy packs of these, the two-inch wick at the Arts and Crafts store. It's got a metal base. It's got a wire with cotton, um, waxed cotton as the wick. And these are great. They fit perfectly in. They have the perfect exact height you need for these to make these candles. But I'm assuming that maybe you don't have that, so you have to use other things. Think outside the box. So jute is a natural um, vegetable, you know, not vegetable, plant fiber. So anything, cotton, jute will work, sisal, any natural fiber will work for this. And you just tie, you know, like an overhand knot or two on there, nothing crazy. Just to hold it on that washer. And we're going to trim the bottom off because we don't need it. And we're going to see about how high that is. I'm just going to trim it to the top of the container for now. We're going to trim it down further later on just so we have more to work with here. And we're going to put this in the bottom of the container. It does not matter where it is right now. We're just going to sit it in there. And you start to get globs of the Crisco on your finger. And I just put it in there and I smush it all the way down to the bottom. Because you don't want there to be air bubbles in here because that's space that you could have had fuel in. So you just keep on doing this. Get a ton of it. Fill the bottom up. We're not worried about what the wick's doing yet until the bottom's filled up. Just get some over here. Oops. Some over there. So you should be able to look and you see there's a little bit of air pockets in there we have to get rid of. So now we have enough down there that we can put that washer right in the dead center, smush it down, pat it down, patty cake, patty cake, baker is me in. <laughs> and now that'll stay put. Now we can fill the rest of this up with our fuel. And this does burn 36 hours. I've tried it. I didn't do it all in one run, but you know, I go read a book and have this going for three or four hours at a time and have it go while I was cooking dinner one time and you know when I'm there it, it I kept notes on how long it burned for and it hit exactly 36 hours which was my target so we're gonna go keep on going keep on going and your hands feel awesome afterwards I mean this stuff makes your skin feel great probably not the best for your skin but it just makes your, your skin feel great and we're almost, we're almost there. You don't want it to go all the way to the top. You want there to be a little bit of a gap. A little bit of your wick showing. Alright, so right there, that's enough. I'll do a tiny, tiny here, a bit more. Your goal for the wick should be about a quarter inch of wick showing. This is about a third of an inch, a little bit more, but that's okay. All right, so we'll call that done. And several things that are noteworthy about this candle we have now. It's in a glass container, so it's see-through. So as your candle burns down, because it's contained, it actually will burn the Crisco from the sides, and it'll stay nice and clean and burn all the way down as one unit, keeping the glass clear 
so it gives you more light. And it's also contained within the glass, so it's safer than just a candle that's, you know, like, like a candlestick that's burning out in the open. So less of a fire hazard. If you want to put the candle out, all you do is pop the lid on, give it a little twist, and it'll go out in a few seconds. When you want to use it again, just light it. It's ready to roll. Burn it for 36 hours for an emergency source of light. Now, it would be silly to have that and store it without any way to light it. So what I do is, at a lot of convenience stores, they'll give you, you know, they have these matches for free at the register. They'll give you a book of matches if you ask sometimes. Or you can just go to the supermarket and buy boxes of 50 or 100 books of matches. So with each of these, I always put a book of matches on the top, take some electrical tape, and I, and I tape it right to it. Get some of this tape out here. Whoops. Yeah. Gonna just cut the tape here. And my hands are all greasy, that's why I'm having a hard time right now. I just tape it on and it keeps the lid on. But the main thing is, yeah. Keeps these matches where you want them. Just one wrap around is good. That way you can just get it off when you're done. And that is it, mateys. Frisco candle. Hope you enjoyed it.